close your eyes and stay with the breath. Think of the breath going all the way down through the body, nourishing the body each time you breathe in. And whatever stresses or strains or tensions there are on the body, think of them dissolving the breath and going out with the out-breath. So clean out things inside. Because after all, this body does need, need tending to. In addition to looking after it in terms of food, clothing, shelter, and medicine, you've got to give it inner medicine as well. The medicine of concentration, the medicine of a strongly established mindfulness. The Buddha has his ask every day. Days and nights fly past, fly, fly past, what am I becoming? And some of what you're becoming is beyond your control, and you're getting older. But other things do lie within your control. You can become a more generous person. You can become, become a more virtuous person. You can become a better meditator. Those are things that you can work on. Those are things you can develop. So those are things you should focus on. Because the part that lies beyond your control, that's beginning to slip away, slip away, slip away, and finally it's going to slip out of your grasp entirely. You thought this was your body. You thought this was who you were. All your memories, all your ideas. You're going to have to let go of those at some point. But the habits you develop of being alert, being mindful, being ardent, resolute, heedful, these are things that stick with you. So these are the things you want to develop at all times. So when the Buddha asks you, what are you becoming as days and nights fly past, you say, I'm becoming a better person, better in my actions, better in my words, better in my deeds. That's the kind of answer you can give with pride. And it's the best answer for your own good as well. <laughs>